Trump. We're talking about the like, Super Bowl. Yeah. We're talking about the Super Bowl with Chef Rob Feeney, who's in the house today. Uh, yeah, you were heartbroken and crushed like so many of us with yeah. the Seahawks. Yeah, yeah. But at least, the, at least the Seahawks are favored 5-1 to one over the Pats for next year, and the Pats are 7-1. So there you go. Not just a chef, <laughs> but a genius when it comes to sports as well. But you've been down to the one-yard line and ready for the championship win. Iron Chef America, it was 10 years ago. Can, can you believe it's been 10 years? No. Uh, let's revisit. Let's revisit the moment that Chef Rob Feeney beat Morimoto. Have a look. Today, two champions met in Battle Crab here in Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... Chef Rob Feeney. Dude, nobody beats Morimoto. Oh, wow. Nobody beats Morimoto. Yeah. What was that? What was that? Oh uh, man, I was just, that's that's kind of weird going back that far. Uh, it's been a while since you've seen that. It was, and I, I was saying to you earlier when I was getting prepping for this, is that you know it was that was the first season of the show. I was the second show. Uh, the chef that was on the day before didn't quite finish all his dishes, so the executive producer Bruce Adel was like making sure that hey, listen, finish all five. So my chefs actually Mark Andre, uh, who's at Tableau now, and then Wayne Harris actually works with me here at Cactus. We were so nervous, like really. I mean, it was early in the morning, and we're like, okay, guys, let's just finish it. And then when I'm standing up there, I had, I had, see, I was, I was, and I, I was trying to just relax, right? Because I had the executive producer, you don't see him, he's on this side. Right. Making sure that I'm, he's you know. He's facing you yeah. while you're sitting there trying to make your ravioli. And, and so, as you know, it's four months, you know, it was taped four months in advance. So I, yeah, Wayne actually works for us. Wayne, Wayne works for uh, Cactus now. Yeah. So I was like, I was literally like, do I, you know, I stood up there and I'm like, okay, let's just, you know, and the winner is Morimoto. Okay, let's go back to the hotel and then go back to Vancouver. And so when I stood there and they said, he looks at me and goes, Chef Rob Feeney, I'm like, are you kidding me, man? It's like, I don't know if you know that guy, he's an actor. He's on, he's on Hawaii right. Five-O, right? And he'd right. been a Lumiere a couple times. So he was coaching me while we're waiting for the result. He goes, Rob, he goes, you never know, man. You might just beat him. He knew, right? He talks like that. Well, he was pretty, he's a pretty, that is pretty funny. cool guy. I love the behind the scenes at Iron Chef. There, um, the tips and the momentum that you get, like when they reveal, the secret ingredient, which was, by the way, crab. Crab. Okay. So what are we making here? This so is this the dish is, you made. Yeah. So I, they give you, like I said, they 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 give you an extra thousand dollars in terms of allowance for the pantry, right? So I I wanted to make, you know, I didn't know what I was gonna gonna get. So I asked them to make sure they had a veal loin on right. on uh, on set uh, there, which is just over here. And veal I loin. thought, and I thought, you know, I could probably figure, you know, to do something something with the veal loin for this crab dish. So I remember they had the whole thing on the rack, and I had bought, actually, Morimoto has a specific knife that he buys, so there's a, a store in, uh, called Corinne in New York. I bought the knives the night before for my chefs, so I'm cleaning the veal off it, and I slice my finger, which you don't see. Oh, no. So that's Not how the I, dreaded have to put on the rubber glove. So that's how I started off. So, yeah, this is oh, man. the whole idea, like, I mean, I'm, I don't really know. I mean, I'm just, again, trying to figure, finish five dishes in the Let's in the show hour. you plating it up and serving the judges while you plate this up for us because we're running low on time here, and I want to show this. Here's the dish, the defining dish. Could you have known then just how much people would continue to talk about this victory for you? Uh, no, it's, it's, I think for me, it's, um, it's quite, it's quite, uh, it was a, a game changer for me in my life, perfect. right? So, so this is, yeah. So this As if is, it wouldn't be perfect, but you can't, so it doesn't even translate to camera how perfectly, beautifully cooked this feel is. Well, I must say that, and this is, and I got this idea. This is like I said, if you ever had steak Neptune, that's kind of the idea, right? So this, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of hollandaise on the top, and this is, uh, just a little bit of a holiday, hollandaise chef Rob And then I, I had white truffles. We're just going to put some black truffles here. Just because and, we can. And that's it. That was the, that was, that was, that was, uh, the dish. I'm going to try this dish. I'm going to connect you up now, though, with uh, Vikramvich, who is uh, with us in the live by this morning. Were you guys really out for dinner last night? I was. I was there. Do We're tell. just hanging out like old pals. Yes. That was awesome. Uh, you know, uh, Rob was there last night at my shanti, and we kind of little chatted a little bit. But Rob, first of all, on behalf of rest of as chefs, I just want to congratulate you, and we should be so proud of what you did, winning the Iron Chef Canada. It was incredible. I mean, what a great experience. And to beat Marimoto on top of it, huge. It's worthy, too. This dish is delicious. Well, I mean, you know, this is the great thing, and I thank, thanks, Vikram, because 
I, you know, and he knows I feel the same way about him. So love back to you. And that's one of the reasons I was there last night. I mean, he's, he, when he opened in South Surrey, he know. I mean, I've, I've had my kids there numerous times, and I mean, at my shanty. At my shanty. I mean, what Vikram's done, I think, in Canada with his. his I, I said to him last night, actually, there's no restaurant like it anywhere, and that's you know, and he's been doing this a long time. So we feel mutual respect. That's how these chefs work, and we are we are having a, actually we were discussing local chefs last night, and uh, this is the great thing about being in this country in this city. So if I may say, and Vikram um, talking with Chef Rob here prior to. You guys, everybody would assume that all chefs are in deep competition, but the, to go a little bit further back the story, you've got a new curry on the cactus menu. You call your friend and go, come on, help it's me true. out. Vikram goes, come to my restaurant, I'll and show you how I do it. Had, and the funny thing is that, uh, you know, Rob and I had talked a little bit about this and said, you know, you get so many Indo-Canadians and people are broadening the horizons and you should, we should create a menu that has lots of different flavors. And you know, sure enough, he has a curry on the menu, but he has he does such a great job and does such a good job of making sure that it is true, it's so authentic, good. and it's flavorful. It is so delicious in here. Thanks, thanks to you. <laughs> there it is. Well, and we're gonna throw it over to you because we have to talk about Vikram's delicious uh, food that you guys are preparing in the live eye while I continue to eat Chef Rob Feeney's Iron Chef winning deliciousness. Thanks for this, mm -hmm. Chef.